there was one point in that journey of exploration within like religion and I did not believe in God because if other religions I've tried anyways there must be like nothing in this world that does exist that will make you feel something that's what I thought until the church My name is Kisha Ginto. I am 21 years old and I live in Swansea. My childhood wasn't your typical um, sheltered and complete family. Well, I didn't really have my parents by my side. I had to almost be a mother and a father to her. And like, don't get me wrong, I don't regret that. I think I did lose my innocence a little bit, yes, in my childhood. It's harder because it's not really expected as a child, is it? My parents, when I was a child, they both moved to two different countries when they separated. I think they are aware of the emotional damage it caused for the both of us, me and my sister. It was shameful to even want to get to know us because of that. My mom um, petitioned us to go here to the UK for a better future and a better life. I think it was the best decision for us. Well, because I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that, I don't think. There was this one time where I, had, I remember attending the Catholic service. I looked at my parents and, well, they were asleep. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, and there was a lot of people actually asleep in that work service. I did question myself as a kid. Well, why are they not paying attention, first of all? Honestly, it felt like people were there just to be there. I was quite an observant child. I would look around and observe people and how were they acting around and the presence inside the, the space. Yeah, it, it feels different. After that, honestly, odd, perplexing realization I had as a child, I was curious what other religions had to offer. I was baptized in Catholicism, but because there was no commitment in Catholicism, you can go to other religions and actually listen and sit down. I did try. I was looking for something like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll feel something when I'm here. Maybe I'll feel something when I'm there. I didn't feel anything. So, did you always feel that there's something, you know, that's missing? I did lose hope and I did not believe in God when I moved here because, well, if other religions can't do it, or the ones I've tried anyways, I mean, there must be like nothing in this world that does exist that will make you feel something. That's what I thought. Until, well, until the church. I moved to Swansea, and it was around the time I joined the church. Swansea's surroundings, I think, honestly reflects how the atmosphere of joining the church and the journey in the church has been for me. It was different because it was also around the time that was the most meaningful turning point in my life. I wouldn't have gone to the paths that I did if it weren't for that awakening. A lot of people can talk and a lot of, I think you can listen to a lot of lectures, everything. You can listen to it. But the difference that the Church of Christ has is whilst you're listening to it, you feel it in you like you can't with other else. You'll hear a word or a phrase or, or something that honestly will compel you to even pay attention even when you don't know it. Honestly, it wasn't even part of the plan. 
But I think I did always question like why people said these certain negative things about the church and why was it so why is everyone so opposed to it like so strongly what are they actually teaching I, I, I did get curious and at that point in my life I was honestly looking for something as a compass for where I wanted to go where I should be going what path should I be on so I attended both wor two worship services, the same ones, just to like, you know, just to make sure. Because <laughs> that I wasn't delusional <laughs> in the first one. It was weirdly accurate to what I was, to what was happening in my life. Weirdly. And I, I didn't know how they knew, or it, even if they knew. <laughs> but it was the same one. It felt stronger, honestly. <laughs> And I was skeptical. Yes, I was skeptical at first, at the very first worship service that I had. Because it was so, that can't be true. That, that, that's too timely. I mean, I've been to other religions, but none like that. <laughs> Can you tell us what, why was it timely? What was the lesson? The lesson was, it was about family, surprisingly. <laughs> my relationship with my mom at the time was very broken. It wasn't fixed. And it taught me the values of how a daughter should be and how I should be, and how I should be treating my mom and why certain things, certain trials happen to families. And it honestly gave me clarity that nothing ever would have, even a book or a therapist would have, I don't think. It just gave me what I exactly needed at that time. And that was very peculiar to me because, well, I've never, <laughs> I've never experienced that in my life. I think people, definitely in other religions, can be truly devoted to it without actually even knowing what they're devoted to. And the fact that Brother Felix used to be in another religion before, the fact that he had the courage to question it, I think was honestly that turning point where you also make yourself question is this the truth should I be here where should I be where is the truth I kind of let go of the idea that maybe there is one true church in this earth that will honestly speak the truth to you and will make you feel something that never has before but to my surprise because I, well, I didn't really expect it. There is. <laughs> what did um, that Church of Christ offer that you were missing in your life? The church alone. And the worship services and just God alone, honestly. That offered me a compass in my life that I don't think is replaceable. Whereas in terms of family, that I've always been looking for. <laughs> no, I, I do love my family. But seeing the brethren and how they are in the church, that is what family is like, how they treat you. And that's honestly rare because I think a lot of cultures and traditions do value blood and they won't treat you as one if you aren't. But the fact that it's so easy for the brethren to do that they're the most caring, most attentive people I have ever met. <laughs> and they're very gentle with you. Even um, the, the least judgmental as well. I used to overthink a lot and I used to well be anxious about the future. But ever since joining the church and honestly developing and settling in the faith, you kind of learn how to surrender to God and God's plan for you. The way I view the world now is I have the peace of mind that I probably wouldn't have before if I didn't join. It's very different because peace, it's something so underrated but something so important. My advice for people my age, don't be scared to ask that question to yourself. Where is the truth? What is the truth? Because if you don't take that 
leap of faith or that one tiny bit of courage to even question it, to, to look for it, to seek for it. You will never, ever be fulfilled. And that's one of the worst things you can do to yourself.